Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain an American crime comedy film called Little Man. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. Calvin Sims is a convicted jewelry thief serving prison time in Chicago. In the opening scene, he orders a fellow inmate to count the number of pull-ups for him. By the looks of it, Calvin is a tough guy, respected by all the inmates. On the day Calvin is let free, he walks out of the prison and reveals that he suffers from dwarfism and is barely three feet tall. His friend and fellow thief, Percy, picks him up, accidentally hitting him with the car door while he is at it. Percy doesn't waste time before informing Calvin of their next heist. A dangerous gang leader, Walken, has appointed Percy to steal a diamond from a jewelry shop for $100,000. Calvin, who thoroughly enjoyed his time in prison, doesn't care about being convicted again, hence he accepts the deal. Following that, we are introduced to the Edward couple. The husband, Daryl, is a family man who wants to have a child as soon as possible. His wife, Vanessa, is also keen on starting a family, but wants to prioritize work for the next few years. The couple is at a restaurant where Vanessa says she has good news to share with Daryl. Not giving her a chance to disclose what exactly the news is, Daryl announces that she is pregnant to the rest of the restaurant. Everyone claps and cheers for the couple, while Vanessa embarrassingly claims that it is not the case. The good news is that she got promoted at work. A disheartened Daryl congratulates her, which doesn't go unnoticed by Vanessa. Recently, there has been a rift in the couple's relationship because of their different desires. Somewhere else, Calvin and Percy go to a jewelry shop to steal the diamond. Percy puts Calvin in a bag and takes him inside. While he distracts the store manager, Calvin swiftly goes under the display and steals the diamond. Everything goes according to plan until a chihuahua chases after Calvin and gets inside the bag with him. The dog's owner freaks out after hearing it bark from inside Percy's bag. As the burglars run away, the store manager notices the missing diamond and calls the police. Suddenly, Percy comes to a halt because he feels a sharp pain in his leg. Calvin thinks he was shot, but it turns out that he just pulled a muscle. The duo runs into a convenience store to hide, while still being followed by the police. Coincidentally, the Edward couple is also at the store, arguing as usual. In a moment of panic, Calvin puts the diamond in Vanessa's bag in order to not be caught with it himself. A while later, the policemen go away, thinking that they lost the thieves. After that, Calvin and Percy follow the couple to their home. In the next scene, we are introduced to Vanessa's father, Pops. He is living with the couple because of his old age. Daryl and Pop hardly ever get along because Pop thinks Daryl's unworthy of his daughter. Even now, he comments how Daryl cannot get his daughter pregnant because he has no bullets in his chamber. Shooting blanks, as it were. Vanessa settles the argument and stands firm that she will only have a baby when she is ready. Outside, Percy gets ready with a gun to get the diamond back, but Calvin insists they need to think of a better plan. A lady pushing a stroller gives Percy a genius idea. The next day, Calvin shaves his beard and gets inside a basket to pose as a baby. Percy puts him outside the couple's door and runs away, hoping that they will take Calvin in. When Daryl comes outside, Calvin imitates baby noises. <coughs> and the man buys into the obviously staged act. They bring the baby inside and try to change his diapers. Although what's under his diapers surprises the family, they dismiss it. Initially, the family calls child services, but is informed that the offices won't open until after the weekend. Their second option is to take the baby to a doctor to check if he's doing all right. The doctor finds sketchy things, like a tattoo on the baby's arm and a surgery scar. However, he thinks the child is overall normal and lets the couple take him home. When Daryl and Vanessa are busy discussing what they should do next, Calvin bolts outside with Vanessa's purse, but a policeman catches him on the way and hands him back to Vanessa. The baby calls her mama, mama, which melts her heart, so she decides to keep him until they find his parents. Somewhere else, Percy meets the gangster, Walken, who suspects they have fled with his diamond. He threatens Percy to get it back in 24 hours, or else both he and Calvin will be dead by the 25th hour. Back at home, little Calvin startles Pops, who mistakes him for Chucky. Pops clearly doesn't like him and his presence in the house, but he is ready to compromise for his daughter. That evening, Vanessa and Daryl hold a party to officially welcome Calvin to the family. A couple of their friends come over who at first think Calvin is an ugly child. 
One friend tries to be nice and calls him adorable in a National Geographic kind of way. Although Calvin is acting like a baby, he cannot suppress his manly urges. He holds on to one of Vanessa's friends and tries grabbing her. When she leans down to give him a goodbye kiss, he even forcefully makes out with her. The couple thinks it's weird but chooses to ignore it. Later at night, Calvin tries getting close to Vanessa on several occasions. First, he cutely invites her to bathe with him. Then, he pushes her head when she tries to tickle him. Before going to bed, the couple puts him inside his crib and makes him fall asleep. Calvin wakes up in the middle of the night and finally decides to do the work that he's there for. He jumps out of the crib and goes downstairs to call Percy. While he's at it, Pops finds him talking like an adult and is happy that he was right about the big baby. Right then, Daryl also wakes up, but he doesn't believe Pops' claims about the kid. Daryl thinks Calvin is hungry and makes him a bottle. He also sympathizes with the kid and his presumably bad childhood. Calvin, who has never had a father figure talk to him like that, is actually touched by Daryl's words. A while later, Vanessa and Daryl get steamy in bed. They feel slightly uncomfortable because Calvin cannot stop staring at them. Still, Daryl claims that the kid doesn't know what's going on and gets under the blankets. The next morning, Vanessa wakes up with a magical glow and compliments Daryl on his newfound skills in bed. Daryl is confused because he didn't do anything new. Just then, Calvin is revealed to have climbed into the bed sometime at night. Comedy in the early 2000s was disturbing. The couple doesn't think much of it and ends the conversation. The following day, Vanessa goes to work, leaving Daryl responsible to take care of the child. While he is busy, Calvin manages to get hold of the diamond from Vanessa's purse. Now, he only has to think of a way to escape the household without making a big fuss. Later, Daryl brings Calvin to a park for a father-son quality time. However, the quality time is not fun for Daryl because the kid hits him in the crotch several times. When no one is looking, Percy arrives at the park and asks Calvin for the diamond. But the parents notice him and chase him away before he can get it. The diamond is in the diaper bag that Daryl puts in the car's trunk. Calvin takes the opportunity to run away with the entire car. A naive Daryl still thinks that someone stole his car and his child. He hitchhikes in a lady's vehicle who drives like there is no tomorrow. By the end of the chase, Daryl is sobbing, saying that the baby is not worth the risk of driving with her. A police car stops Calvin at last, but believes that the suspect ran away without the baby. Somewhere else, Percy goes to the gangster with a random diaper bag he picked up from the park earlier. Walken digs into the bag but finds dirty diapers instead of the diamond. Still, the gangster gives Percy some more time to get the real diamond. He then secretly asks his henchmen to follow him and kill both Percy and his partner if they aren't able to retrieve the rock. The next day, Daryl and his friends take Calvin to an ice hockey game. When no one is looking, Calvin grabs the diamond from the diaper bag. As Daryl turns to him, he quickly puts the rock in his mouth and swallows it to not get caught. The game goes well until Calvin catcalls a server and gets Daryl in trouble. Upon returning home, the couple puts Calvin to sleep and decides to throw him a birthday party the following day. At the party, Calvin is bored out of his mind. However, when it's time to cut the cake, he gets emotional because no one has ever shown him this much love. He is genuinely thankful that he got parents who take such great care of him. At the same time, Pops is at a diner when he sees Calvin's face in the news. He finds out the kid is actually a dwarf criminal and is ready to expose him. He runs to the party and gives him a teddy bear as a present. What Calvin doesn't know is that the teddy bear has a hidden camera inside. After the birthday party, Calvin drinks a bottle of laxatives to help him get the diamond out. The plan works, but Vanessa finds the diamond while changing his diaper. She believes that it is a surprise gift from her husband and jumps up on top of him in excitement. Daryl tries to explain that the diamond isn't from him, but she doesn't give him a chance to talk. They go to dinner that night, leaving Pops to babysit Calvin. After the couple leaves, he pretends to play with Calvin and throws him to the ground. Eventually, Calvin has to come clean to him, but he threatens Pops and tells him not to tell anyone. Meanwhile, in the restaurant, Vanessa tells Daryl that she is ready to adopt Calvin and make him their own. They excitedly return home, only to find Pops strangling Calvin. Horrified by the action, they kick him out of the house and take Calvin to his room. Before being pulled away, Pops tells his daughter to look at the teddy because he knows everything. Daryl checks the stuffed toy and finds out it's actually a camera. He connects it to the TV and discovers a recording of Calvin admitting the truth. 
He immediately heads to the bedroom, only to find that Calvin has already run away. In the following scene, Calvin and Percy are back together, celebrating that they finally got the diamond. Percy reveals that the gangsters are after Daryl and his family because they think the couple stole the stone. Realizing that the family's in danger, Calvin returns to help them. Meanwhile, Vanessa leaves to look for her father. When Daryl is alone, Walken and two of his henchmen come to the house and hold him hostage. Just then, Calvin arrives and pretends to be a child. Because the henchmen underestimate him, he manages to beat them up. At the same time, Daryl fights Walken. The fight goes on for quite a while before the police arrive at the scene. They arrest the criminals and ask Daryl about the kid. Daryl feels indebted to Calvin for coming to help him, so he saves him from the police. They're also informed that they will receive $100,000 for helping the police find the diamond. When the two are left alone in the house, Calvin thanks Daryl for everything and wishes him farewell. But when he reaches outside, he starts crying at the thought that he'll never have a family again. Daryl feels bad and is genuinely sad that Calvin has to go. At last, just like Ash with Pikachu, he makes the decision to keep Calvin as a family member. In the final scene, Calvin and Pops are playing with Vanessa's newborn kid. To everyone's surprise, the kid looks exactly like Calvin. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.